close. We gotta start this. I'm going. Okay, we're, uh, we'll wait until you're done chewing then. Just gonna sit here like dicks. Joe and I shouldn't have smoked that because I got the munchies. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, are we going? All right, let's get this going. Podcast number, what number of podcasts is this? That's number five. This is number five. And it's big news because we've got a guy on board with us. We've talked about him. Ricky's got a big crush on him, we think. Weckerly. Michael Weckerly. He's on board. He's going to sponsor us for four more podcasts. Who is? Weckerly. The guy for the, us now? for the Dragon's Death, not Guy. Decent. Is that why we got the nicer chips and whatnot? We got week? these cookies. I think these cookies were here last week. But yeah, it's good, man. I mean, he's talking about some money here. He's going to give us some money for doing this. Yeah, but who now? Who, you did the fucking deal. Now let me guess. I don't get anything. No, no, we're going to get something. You but get I'm, most I'm still, of it. I'm not going to get most of it. it it's going to come. It's going to be like a pool of money that's going to come to us, and then we split it up. Fuck, Ricky. Oh, he's out fucking cold. For those of you who can't see what's happening right now, Ricky is sleeping at the table. What the fuck is he up? Ricky. Ricky, Ricky. Jesus Christ, Ricky. Fuck. Fuck. And he's down. He's down, <laughs> folks. Did you hurt yourself? Oh, boys, that fucking sucked. Jesus Christ, Ricky. Oh, here, get out. Fuck's sakes. Here, give me your hand. What the fuck are you doing? Uh, look, wipe the drool off your face. Here, look. Look at the camera. You were drooling. Oh, fuck, that hurt a lot, boys. Well, Ricky, you fucking went down like a sack of potatoes. I said to wake me up when the fucking thing's starting. We've been oh, we've I was started. Just, I was just about to wake you up and your fucking chair collapsed. I'm sorry. Oh, fuck, look at that bruise, man. What did you hurt? Jesus Christ. And Ass, back, leg, and shoulder. <sighs> you, you hit the floor hard, man. You need to go down hard. Do you need a... Here, have a drink of lecker. Have a lecker drink. Or... Light up the joints. This black label shit. Here, Ricky, can you... all over me. Can you do oh, this one? Fucking shit that was on the floor. Fuck sakes, boys. Ricky, you got some chip crumb or something on your cheek. You got a chip hanging off your cheek. No, up. Yeah. It's gone. Oh, That's a great start to the fuck. podcast number five. Rick? All right, here we are. A little bit of pain. All right, I was just telling everybody, we've got Michael Weckerly on board. He's sponsoring the next four podcasts, so we can't fuck around. Michael this, Weckerly? Yeah, the guy from the Dragon's Den. Yeah, I know. We've yeah, talked you, about him before. Yeah, the guy yeah. you have a crush on. I don't have a, I have a crush on him. You called him handsome. Lucy... May or may not think he's handsome or hot or whatever you want to call it. I didn't, whatever. Anyway, that's cool. So he's sponsoring us. Does he have booze or anything? Or what's, what, what do we get here now? I'm well, sure he does. Yeah, he's got lots of booze at his house or something. But. Apparently it's a deal Julian worked out, and I have yet to know what the actual deal is. I'm sure you benefit from it greatly. We're all going to benefit. Like, what are you making me sound like some kind of a fucking guy that's going to rip off his friends, <sighs> which I don't do. You know what, boys? I think I need to smoke a joint. But I'm only smoking if you smoke it with me. Rick, I'm not smoking any of that crazy shit with you. Boys, I may have broke my fucking leg. We're getting high, all of us. Rick, the last time we did this, I mean, I don't know how you get so high all the time every day, man. I couldn't even fucking function last podcast. It's wonderful. It's a wonderful feeling. <laughs> I'm sure it's wonderful for you, but for most people that don't smoke as much as you, you know, but... I, it's panic time. I it's fucking panic. panic. Because I think my heart's beating too fast. And well, get over it, because we're fucking getting high right now, all three of us. This is fucked, and I need it. I need liquor, and I need drugs. It's the only thing that's going to get me through this podcast. You cut your hand up there, man. Look at the bruise on it. Yeah. Here, show that's, that to... There's probably some bigger ones on my back, ass, Show it to the leg, camera, let me man. Tell you. It's turned purple already. Let's see. It's, a good it's one. scraped up. It's purple. Holy fuck, Ricky. I thought you were just so what are we? Uh, what are we talking about today? Oh, whatever you want. So we have a new sponsor, that's cool. 
Yeah, man. Weck. That's it, what they call it. Is it Weck? Weck. The That's Weck, man. This it. guy, I mean, he's known as the greatest trader, trader Bay Street has ever seen. That's what they're saying. This they're guy's got the Oracle. The Oracle. He's got God, tons of money. into the future. See, now it sounds like you guys have a crush on him. I'm just, no. As a businessman, Ricky, this is a guy we want to hook up with. Okay. okay. He could teach us something, I'm sure. Well, what Maybe. does he have that can fucking help us out? Okay, well, he's got, uh, number one, he's on, on the Dragon's Den. Yeah, we're all fucking well aware of that, but yeah. we've already talked about it. Yeah. So this is actually the podcast we don't even need to listen to because we do go at All right, okay, he's he's got the L. Uh, Macombo Bar in Toronto. Did you ever hear of that place? L. Macombo, he bought it. I've heard of that place. Isn't that like a famous joint? Yes, it's famous. It's one of the most famous rock clubs ever. Right. Al McCombo, everybody's played there. Fucking U2 when they were starting out. That's where they played, Al McCombo. No fucking way, really? Yes. Rolling the Stones played there. That's why I know that place, because a fucking... Some famous woman banged Mick or Nick or one of the guys in the band. Wasn't that what happened? Mick That's Jagger. where that was. Yeah. Who banged Mick Jagger? Well, I don't know if they banged, but some dirty stuff went down. With who? With the president's fucking Except wife or daughter. Pierre Trudeau's wife, See? Margaret Trudeau. They say that after the after they played there, her and Mick fucking Mick, uh, they they hooked up. They they may have banged. They could have. I don't know. I don't know. She did something to. Him. I never heard that. I'm John. Mean, you've never heard of that. Pierre Trudeau, his not wife. Him. Yeah, no, oh. not Pierre Trudeau. Well, maybe he wife. was there too. I, don't I know. thought you meant Pierre. Mick wouldn't have gave a fuck. That's for sure. Didn't he bang oh. David Bowie? Well, <laughs> Ricky. Ricky, you I don't know. I thought, I thought I heard that somewhere. Yeah, that people. That, I mean, that has that's out there. That people have been saying that for years. They have. Yeah, man. Anyway, right. it's a cool spot. Are we gonna get to fucking go there or not? Because that would be pretty badass. Well, we're definitely gonna go there now. If we, I mean, if you don't fuck up the podcast and Weck thinks we're a bunch of dicks. Oh fuck! Is there any way to sue him for falling? How could you sue him? How is it his fault that you fell? Uh, if it wasn't for him, we wouldn't be doing this fucking thing, so there's got to be something there, isn't there? Not really, Ricky. I don't think you can sue the man because he's, you know, sponsoring us here. All right. Might well, be able to sit us. Uh, maybe he's swearing that you can sue them, maybe. They might have some kind oh, of insurance or something. This fucking chair is fucked. What the fuck are you doing? I'm getting pissed off, guys. I'm not having fun yet. Where the fuck is a guest? I said we weren't doing these fucking things anymore without guests anyway. You got a guest? We don't exactly have one, no. So this is just going to be some lame fucking bullshit. Wow, uh, Ricky um, falls down, looks dumb, maybe well, gets drunk and We don't have one it. today, but, but we got one lined up. Podcast number six, man. We got a doozy hooked up for that one. Guess who's going to be on next podcast? Don't care because there's not going to be any more podcasts without a guest, right? He's not so, going to care, huh? Who's going to be on? Snoop Doggy Doggy Oh shit, you're just fucking saying that so I'll keep fucking going here No, he's For gonna real. be on, he's gonna be on Yeah, I'll believe that when I hear it So you're not gonna do the fucking podcast if we don't get a guest? I don't know, it's gonna fucking be lame if we don't have a guest, isn't it? The last guest sucked Fucking idiot Who was it? That's Randy Oh yeah, that wasn't Dick jobs, blowed it Wasn't great He is an idiot Watching great. All right. Well, you want to you want to guess, Ricky? I don't know. Is it possible? Anything's possible. I come here like hiding down when you do that behind your laptop. No, I'm not. I'm trying to read. You're trying. No, you were smoking a joint, but you kind of hid down behind the screen. No. Of your Ricky, you put the fucking chair in the chips. Ricky, you probably need that. That's fucking structural bracing. It was making the fucking chair too leany. Now it's gone. It's much better, honestly. It's probably going to collapse, though. That's structural integrity that you just threw away there. Ricky just ripped the fucking leg off the chair, the brace under it. You know what? I knew this fucking thing was going to be lame. No guess, nothing, so. Take that. You want a guest here? Who's here right now? Preston. Oh, yeah. Oh, we're not going to get Preston on, right? Get the fuck over here. You're going to be a guest. He's not a fucking guest. He just, what does he do anyway? He fucking helps some dicks with the cameras and doesn't really seem to do much. Oh, he doesn't buy any guest. dope. We could talk to him. Never has dope. He's Preston, always... get the fuck over here. Common our liquor. Hey. How you doing, boys? What's up, Preston? Please really welcome good. to the podcast, Preston. Hi, everybody. How you doing? How you doing? It's not really a guest. Like, what the fuck does he do? What, what is he? What do you Preston, do? Preston, he's worked here how long? Preston? Uh, uh, long time, 10, 
13, 14 years, something like that, boys? Yeah. You can tell the fucking people you work for, there might be a little lawsuit in the works over that fucking shit that happened there Well, earlier. maybe. We'll, we'll sort that out once you uh, sort out how you're going to get us back for that uh, trailer wall there. For those of you who don't know, Preston, Preston was on the the first guys that showed up with the cameras how many years ago? Fucking oh, man, that was back in 2000. Did you guys get the smoke bubs? Yeah, the guys can smoke. Wait, boys, no, working. we're going to actually insist. No, fuck Mr. Responsible. You can't smoke drugs at work, I guess. We're going to insist. <sighs> fuck, boys. He likes to pretend he doesn't smoke them at work. When you know he does. I know everybody's getting stoned at swearing at. You walk into this building, it just smells like weed. It's, it's a good place to work, I bet. Yeah, it's not bad. It's not a bad place, actually, guys. You make it uh, fun to do. So listen, you've been, you've been with the camera guys on the Trailer Park Boys show. Yep. Since day one. That's right. Okay, so what's the most fucked up thing that you've ever had to deal with? Ricky. Well, I I, I assume that was the answer. But it's not what, very nice. I don't know what. What why. specifically? Ricky, you're a fucking nightmare, bud. Because I you're like a to nightmare. have fun. No, you like to have fun. You like to have fun fucking with the crew. You like to have fun making noise, shooting guns off next to people's heads when they're not listening. When they're not, uh, knowing it's happening, you like to uh, spike people's drinks. You fuck things up a lot. You like to mess with people's. Uh, that time you put uh, a whole bunch of fake blood inside my car, so I was going home and it was just raining, and I did the old squirty thing to get the windshield wipers going, and the blood was all over the fucking that place. That was pretty funny. And that was pretty funny. Yeah, that that wasn't stopped. fake blood, Preston. That was pig blood. By the way, well, whatever it was, cops uh, stopped. You almost died too. You crashed that night. That's right. I crashed a little bit. Fucking putting this. Out. Never forget it. Never forget it, Ricky. And never since well, uh, you've been the nightmare. I'd like to say sorry, but I'm you not good at that know, because yeah. all those things were a lot of fun, mm -hmm. and I think I would have had fun if I was the person getting them done to me. So I don't know. I think you're being a bit of a baby. Well, you do bump you know. a lot of booze off me. I've seen you pretty drunk. You don't smoke enough. Maybe that's what your problem is. But uh, okay. I, I, I admit that a little bit. I do that. I drink a bit once in a while. A couple snaps, you know, keep me going. Keep me level. Working with you guys. And how come, I noticed on the set, how come you always keep like a bunch of young young boys around? Oh, they're interns, right? They're, they're the guys that just want to come in. They want to help out and do stuff like that. And we just, just you know, we just use those guys. We, and then you get drunk business. with them at, after work every night. It's, it's team it's team building, bud. It's team building. You get them together, you tell stories, you joke, you know, you carry on. Next day you're at work, you're like, hey, remember that thing we did there? It was pretty cool. Hey, let's do some more. carry on. <laughs> no, it's not like that, guys. Come on. Don't be, don't be, you know, I got, I got... Okay, so what else? And, what else? I've seen you hanging out with Chipper quite a bit lately, too. I don't know what that means. But. Chipper's a good guy. Oh, I know. You know. He's going through some stuff lately, and I'm... Uh, he certainly is. I'm just trying to help him through his, uh, his, his life because his life changes and making sure that he's he's okay and he's feeling okay with stuff. What do you got on the car here, Julian? Well, let's get back to Chipper. How How is his wife and kids doing and stuff like that? Have they coped well with what's going on in his life? Or? They're uh, they're going to they're gonna take the news... Pretty well once it happens there, you know. It's an it's an easing thing. You don't you don't. Just oh, he hasn't told it. them yet. I don't think so. All right. I don't think so. I don't even really know what it means. It's well, not surprising, Rick. Yeah, well, chippers. Pansexual. I could say you have sex in a pan. I've heard that expression before. Like pansexual. Pansexual. What the fuck are you talking about? Never heard that. Transsexual, maybe. I thought he said he was pansexual. I don't know. Pansexual. Just whatever. I guess whatever pans out, you'll do it. I guess I don't know. <laughs> I was going to say, heard that you're into dudes now. Whatever. It's all good. He's like, no, no, I'm paying. Okay. I don't know what that means, but it sounds like he just throws out the line and whatever pans out. He's like panning for gold, maybe. He's just doing a little bit of, you know, see what happens. See what the, some good nuggets. Way to be, like everybody. I don't know. Okay, is this, the, are we doing the podcast right oh, now? What was that? We smoke, boys. <laughs> oh, shit, Ricky. Uh, I don't know. See, we got fucking wheat trail. So I knew this there. fucking, this was going to suck today. I thought we were going to have a normal good guest. I'm I a actually good guest. prepared some fucking things again, but anyway, I guess we won't talk about you that No, shit. good chance. Yeah, let's so, hear what you got there, Ricky. Throw let's, it down. Come on. You got some current events, or what do you got? Go ahead. I was going through some those papers with the news, and yep, yep. Uh, here's one. A woman claims that she auditioned to be Tom Cruise's girlfriend. Oof! Wow, that's oh, fucking creepy. Well, it's kind of weird, but kind of cool. Imagine being that guy. It's like you want a new girlfriend. Let's fucking send somebody out. Get yeah, but that's auditions. it's. I don't think I think there's, there's many layers to that, Ricky. Yes, I think he's being forced. Yeah. You know, by the, by the you know who's. Who is the you know who's? 
the science theology, or the uh, <laughs> Scientology. Yeah, people. those guys. I mean, should we even be talking nope. about this? I Shouldn't even know. bring it up. Shouldn't even bring it up. No, they could, you know what? They could the captain's listening. After. Okay, well, I didn't know we could get fucking people after us for talking with those fucking guys. But well, let's anyway. just fucking talk about them. Who cares? I mean, where they're going to come down at? So what Halifax? did you read that says there's a woman saying that she auditioned to be his yep. girlfriend, which would be all orchestrated by them? Yeah, and they made her put on more makeup than she was comfortable with and all this other crazy shit. And, oh, yeah, and then she found it later on. I guess that's what it was, an audition for for to be his girlfriend. Mm. When did that happen? I was, I don't know, just saw it in one of the newspapers, man. Just trying to come up with ideas. What do you guys got? Oh, that's, I mean, it's... No, I, I think just thought that's it was just... weird and different. Maybe it was good. Now you're making me feel like it could be creepy. I don't know, but... Okay, okay, so he's getting chicks to audition to be his girlfriend, so... I mean, how many chicks is he auditioning, you think? Like, a bunch, or...? I don't have all those answers. What is he looking for? What did the, like, the chicks are just What's gonna... the audition consist of? Yeah. Does he get to do it with them? I don't, I don't know those things. What kind of document it wasn't were you great, It wasn't great information, guys. No, apparently not. Well, apparently not that... Comprehensive. We gotta look into that. This what do you have, Bob? You got anything exciting? So well, I, my thing's all frozen up here. It's mainly just about, you know, Caitlyn Jenner. Oh, oh no, wait, this what? one. You like this story, Bubs. Why? It's about a cat. Okay. You love cats? I love cats. Of course I do. Fact. This one's like not happy story, but happy ending kind of a story. Here we go. You got it. Involves a cat getting shot, so... Uh, Ricky, no, but it's what? a good story. A fucking... How in the fuck could that be a good story? What's good about that? I don't know. I think it was in Chicago or somewhere, but the stray bullet went through a fucking house. And it was like a three-year-old sitting on the sofa, yeah. and a cat fucking took the bullet for it. How are you fucking Saved kidding? the kid. And the cat actually survived, so it's kind of a happy ending, kind of fucked that it happened. Oh, so he saw it, he dove in front of it. I guarantee fucking to you, he dove in front of it. I wouldn't say you think that. He could, you'd think that he's got, like, ESP. The kitty, the I, kitties you wouldn't can tell. believe I've seen kitties do things that would blow your mind. I guarantee you, he probably heard it. They have lightning quick ear flexes, ear reflexes. Yeah. So he heard it. He probably assessed the situation very quickly. Yeah. You know, triangulated where the shot came from with his super hearing, saw the bullet coming through, and just leapt in front of it. I guarantee you, that's Not the a chance. way. There's uh, not a chance. Why is there not a chance? Really fucking far fetched. The cat would have to hear the sound of a finger, like pressing up against the fucking trigger. Bullets yes. are fast, then react. Bullets. bullets are faster than fucking cats in their brains. You ever hear the fucking saying, Ricky? Reflexes like a cat? That's why they can hear bullets coming and they can. And so they're he's got loyal kitties. Like he's, it's a super cat. Some, there's such things as super cats. Bob, that's fucked up. I've dealt with super cats over oh, the years. Really? How? Like, what happened? They're super cats, Julian. Yeah, I've what, seen. What, I'd like to hear a story about a super cat. Yeah, give us a what you dodge and, you know, run in front of a bullet to save a kid. There was a cat I had years ago. Right. Oh, okay. Okay. Yep. I had him years ago. Okay. Ronnie Pumpkin. Do you remember Ronnie remember Pumpkin? That? Yeah. Ronnie Pumpkin had, he was a super cat. He came to me one day. I was in the shed cooking, and I hear him. And I look down, and there's Ronnie, and he's doing this. He's doing this with his head. I'm not joking, and he's doing this. He's doing the come with me with his head. No way, man. And I was like, what is it, boy? And he went, did that, so I followed him. I was like, what is it? So he started running, and he keeps looking back over his shoulder to make sure I'm following him. And I followed him down past the farm there, old, the old farm, down to where the store is. And there was a guy in there with a gun holding up the store. And Ronnie Pumpkin fucking Bull fucking shit. <laughs> I'm telling you. And I fucking saw him and I went over to the phone booth. And I work. called 911 and I said, uh, me and my cat would like to report a armed robbery in progress at the store. Ronnie Pumpkin did that. He saved the day. Now you tell me that's not a fucking super cat. No, Ronnie Pumpkin was like 35 pounds, wasn't he? He was that big fat one. He was There's a big no way he was walking way to the store to check it out, then ran no, back to get No, this was when he was younger. He was leaner. Ah, man, that's, 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 that yeah. didn't happen. So okay. he was just down hanging out the store, saw a robbery, ran back, got you, used a little necky twitchy thing, got you down there and saved the day. So Actually, you know what? Hobo. That's a fucking uh, Little's Hobo episode yeah, you're talking that's about. exactly what it is. Well, that's, that's, that's where they probably got the fucking idea because oh, they read okay, it in the no, paper that on. Ronnie Pumpkin did. And he watches TV. 
He's right. I've had I kitties. That, that I think your memory. I think your memories are in and out there. I've right? had kitties that helped me fix the go kart. I had a kitty that could pass me wrenches. Bullshit. I yeah. swear to fuck, I'd say, give me a quarter inch, and he'd go over and grab it with his teeth and bring it over. I'd say, give me a five eighths. Right. Back he'd go. Right. We're right. starting hearing this. Yeah, it's, okay. anyway, I don't know if the fucking cat. Lapped in front of it was super. I'm telling you, he it, fucking. Uh, I guarantee you, he saved the day. Yeah, she needed some money for for bills, and I guess people came through and yeah. gave her the money to pay for it all. The cat's gonna be okay. Oh, the cat. Yes. Well, I it was a happy ending, anyway. That was that for a know, fucking story right there, baby. Good story. It's a great story. It's a great story, Ricky. Great story. What do you got, Julian? Anything? No, probably not. <sighs> no, I've got some shit here. I don't know Bubs is gonna like this. No, you're you're not gonna like this, actually, Bubs. These little pepperoni one hitters. Pepperoni, oh, fuck. <laughs> one hitters. Yeah. yeah, that's what they are, buddy. What yeah. are they? Pepperoni cocks, tiny ones. Little tiny pepperonis. Yeah. Little snacks. Decent. I'm trying to talk here. Sorry, sorry. Did sorry. you say current events? Oh, you got some current events. I know what those are. WWF legend Jimmy Snuka. He's been charged with murder, Bubs. Murder? What, yeah. Jimmy Snuka? He's, I guess, 32 years ago, he murdered his girlfriend. That's what they're saying. That's just coming out now? Well, I th he got away with it. Then the family of the girlfriend yeah. just kept pr fucking pressing it. And 32 years later, he's, they he's must have, You know what they did? They found new evidence. They did. I watched Cold Case Files, and now they probably, you know. Technology is what fucked him over. A lot of people getting fucked over by technology. So like he got that. away with murder for 32 fucking years. Wow. Yeah. Well, well he's it's 72 a legend. now. It's a legend. They haven't proved it yet, have they? No, and he's 72. I mean, he's going to probably spend the rest of his life in jail. Jimmy Snuka. Snuka. He had a good run. That's he had a good run. He's pretty lucky. He had a good run. He really did it. But you know what? If he did it, he's a dirty bastard, and he shouldn't have been free those 32 years. Yeah. No. If he did do it. Do the crime, do the time. That's right. Isn't that right, Rick? Yeah, I mean, I've never killed anybody, for no, fuck's sake. Of course not. Of course not. Well, you thought you did. It wasn't me, Bubs. That was you. That you tried. That was great. close. I've seen you try a few times. We did think we killed somebody, but we didn't. Thank fuck we didn't. Thank fuck I wasn't there. What else you got there? Kiss myself. All right, another another story uh, about someone going to jail, or someone that actually just got released from jail. Judge Joe Brown, the guy at his show. Yeah, he's fucking cool. He went to jail for five days, man. For Didn't what? like it. I guess he was he was an attorney, and he was uh, he had this case. He was defending this guy, and. And he just started mouthing off the judge. Basically told him to go fuck yourself, judge, whatever your name is. And the judge threw him in jail for five days. Judge Joe Brown was fighting another judge? Well, yeah. Yeah. He was mouthing off. They did. I don't think they got into a fist fight or anything. Maybe they did. I don't know. He probably warned him, you're in contempt, sir. But he said the jail... You can't handle the truth. That's right. He said it was dirty and boring. Didn't like it. Well, couldn't have been with our jail. Our jails are fucking awesome. That's what I'm saying. I mean... But I do respect the guy for fucking sticking up for himself. That's cool. That's really good. Especially that could be judge. really funny. You got a good show. Judge fights. Judge versus judge. Oh, that would be awesome. And they should get in the ring, maybe. Yeah. You gonna finish that? Yeah, well, there's more of them. Do you want one? Nope. Okay, man. It's, I don't know. I was gonna eat it, but it's all right, I guess. Mm. Get my pepperoni. Okay, what's next, oh, Rick? Man. What do you got? This one's a little fucked. This is a bad fucking parent here. Vermont. Man cleaning his gun. Shot his fucking daughter at a campground. No, for fuck That's a big gosh. fuck up. Like, I would never be that fucking stupid. Imagine telling your wife that one. Honey? Shot Mabel. How the fuck Got did he do that? What the fuck is the guy? His handgun. Like, how, how the fuck is it loaded, number one? He's dumb. At the campsite. While you're cleaning it. I mean, I can understand if the daughter shot him. That's not his fault. It's just accidents happen. I mean, I've been shot by my daughter. But to shoot your own daughter is a fucking big fuck-up. That's bad parenting. Huge fuck-up. Yeah. Yeah. yeah but Ricky, bad parent. I don't think you classify that as bad parenting, Ricky. I think it's beyond that. It was bad human-ing. Bad human-ing? Yeah. Bad humaning. Well, Ricky, I mean, it happened with you. Like you said, Trini dropped the gun. She had it in the fucking the kitchen. No, I know, but how is she supposed to know? Yeah, but she dropped the handgun in the drawer. I know, but you're still leaving loaded handguns all over mm. the fucking house. In that was an accident. Drawer. I came home one night fucking wasted. I was falling down, and I didn't want to fall down with the gun in my pocket and let it go off, so I put it in the first drawer that I'd open in the morning when I was cooking breakfast. 
the cutlery drawer, the, the first drawer that anybody would open up going in to make breakfast. Well, I see that now, but you know what they say about the hindsight. I forget what it is, but you know what they say. No, what? What, what do, do they, they say? say? This, when you see sight in the hind, you right. got better, clearer vision. That's what they say. Something along those lines. Who quoted that? Mark Twain, was it? Yep. Ricky, basically, you know what? Anybody that leaves like loaded guns around their house with kids around, they're they're fucking dumb. So you're in the same category as this other guy that shot his daughter. Depends what happens. There's never really accidents, and then no one's dumb, right? This guy got caught because he was dumb. Well, and this guy fucked it up, not the daughter. <clears throat> anyway, anyway, I guess we have different feelings about those subjects. I just I don't, don't think keep everybody has the same guns. feeling about it. In your house when you got kids, Ricky, okay? Oh, this is a fucking beauty. We can all, right now, the four of us, make $25 or get $50 in free tuna. Oh. There's some fucking lawsuit going on, and it's a tuna lawsuit, and if you bought tuna in the last 10 years, they'll give you 25 bucks, or you can get $50 worth of free tuna, so that's what I'm fucking doing, because tuna lasts forever. Ricky, what are you talking about? If you bought tuna in the last 10 years, they'll give you 25 bucks. You qualify. Bucks. 25 bucks. Yep. From who? Or 50 bucks in free tuna. But who gives it to you? Tuna company, I guess. Which tuna company? The one that fucked up, I guess. And Why would you want to get tuna from the company that you're... They killed poison people or... Just well, they right. probably obviously fixed the fucking problem, I'm hoping. So oh, now that's, if you get the free tuna, that's why they give you free tuna, because it's all the fucked up tuna that they want to get rid of. They'd be really dumb if they, after fucking up once, and they're paying this money in the lawsuit, that they fucked up again. So, okay, Rick, I don't know. probably the best tuna in the world, actually. How can they not prove that you didn't buy their tuna? Like, I don't like tuna, so I definitely didn't buy their tuna. You can but I'm going to, I want their 25 right up bucks. Right receipt, probably, and just say, It's hey, actually here, tuna. Julian, look. $50 in free Star Kiss tuna or $25 check from class action lawsuit. There you go. Free money or free tuna. Oh, boys, this could be a lot of money. Boys, I'm getting If we can get 100 tuna. people 100 people on board, that's $2,500 fucking dollars. I'm getting tuna for my kitties. Now, let's, well, get, let's get the $25. Fuck the free tuna. Let's get the free... But it's $50 worth of free tuna. That's better than... Twenty-five dollars. That's, that's like a, how much is a can of cat food nowadays? It's what a buck. Oh, it's getting up there. No, yeah, two bucks from the nice stuff. Yeah, yeah but once you get those little fuckers hooked on real tuna, then what do you do? Yeah, you just cut them off. And exactly. You have to keep buying real tuna for the rest of your life. No, tuna, tuna I tell them straight up. I say this is a treat, guys. Just so you know, don't get accustomed to it. But I've been feeding them. I've been giving them nice fucking grass-fed, organic stuff. You see, a, you see a difference in your kitties <clears> with that? Absolutely. The other problem if you had real tuna on a future cats and word got around, you'd probably get people, I mean, I don't know, I think people might break in your shed and maybe steal a couple cans of tuna late at night if they're hungry. Well, I would just leave a sign up saying, if you're going to steal my tuna, guess what? You can get your own free 50 bucks worth. Boss, why don't we just take the $25 and then we could put some of the money towards cat food? Fuck getting the 50 pounds at $50. What is it, $50 for $50 tuna? $50 worth of tuna. That's a lot of tuna, man. See? Oh, that's like 50, you know, Ricky's 40 coming through here. Free money for people, free tuna for people. You guys are offering people nothing. You got anything else? Ricky's like tuna Robin Hood. Yep. Just, just for that, Ricky. Rich. Just for that, Ricky gets a bonus joint. Okay, well, there's something to that tuna thing. I guarantee you we can make a lot of money off that. Just got to think about it more. Oh, and you told me to fucking look into what's happened with these fucking crazy celebrity whack jobs. What crazy mm -hmm. celebrity whack jobs? Well, there's always people fucking around. Apparently, Biley and Dickie are going at it again. What do you mean going at it? Well, not the way you're probably hoping and thinking, but they're fucking... I don't Who's know. going at they're it? They're fucking arguing with each other again. Nicki Minaj? Is that yep. It? Sounds like we're turning into like TMZ down. here, boys. I know. But you guys told me to check this shit out. I don't even know what the fuck these people do or what they are. Taylor Swift farted, apparently. Okay. okay. MTV okay. Awards. There was some fucking thing I saw about that. Ricky, what are you talking about? She was about to introduce some video. Apparently, she farted. it, okay? Everybody does it. I don't think it's a big deal, but people are talking about it. Like, and could you hear it, like, over the whole, you know, speakers and... Yeah, you can hear it. Did you just fart? <laughs> Somebody did it. <laughs> no, I didn't. Right? See? It wasn't me. It happens. It's just... It's There's no way that just yeah, happened crazy you're time. talking about Taylor Swift doing it. It's perfect timing. Well, at least it didn't shit herself like Ed Sheeran does. 
Yeah, he did do that, apparently. He pooped his but, pants. you know what? Who gives a fuck? It happens to everybody. I don't know. I shot myself I've about three times myself. this year. I've shat myself. Threw up myself. Bled all over myself. No doubt. No doubt, buddy. It's just normal human stuff. Leaking. Just leaking. Leaking. Okay. Let's talk about leaking. Let's talk about leaking. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I've had enough of that stuff, man. I don't want any more of that shit. Yeah, Ricky, you That's gotta tough. stop handing that thing out. Listen, oh. guys, I can't stay here forever. Like, I know you want to be a guest to be on here, but well, I... Well, who asked you to? Well, you could have you... fucking left long ago. You fucking asked me to come and sit in here. For Just a couple for minutes. For a couple minutes. You've been here for about ten. Oh, really? <laughs> you guys are fucking dicks. <laughs> well, beat it. Get back to work, you lazy prick. Fucking dicks. <laughs> All right. Anyways, we'll talk to you about that wall in a little bit. Yes. We're uh, just going to talk about that, maybe. I don't know. All right. Thanks, Preston. Yeah, that was fucking... That was great. Really yeah. exciting. Really exciting for the people at home. I think, fuck, we have Snoop Dogg on next week. That's... You guys are full of shit. Do we really? That's happening, man. That would be kind of cool. Snoop Dizzle. Confirmed. I'm going to have to get extra fucked up for that one. And we're going to get him on the Skyper, too. Oh, yeah? We're going to get him on the... Docking machine. How do you see him over the fucking radio? No, it's gonna be on a screen. We're gonna see him. It's gonna be decent. It's gonna be decent. All right, boys, we gotta wrap this up. Do we? Yeah, it's been like over a half hour we've been sitting here. No. Talking about absolute. That's fucking lame. Didn't get to talk about the fucking this, but oh well. What? <clears throat> I was saving this one for last because it's the most yeah, fucked well, up thing I've heard it? lately. What is it? I can't wait. No, this no, no. Hey, fucking hey, hey. crazy this... fucking dick. Are we waiting? Hey, just a sec. This will be like a cliffhanger. Then we'll come back and we'll start the next one. Next what one. is it, like current event? No, you're going to... Yes. Oh. See, it won't be current. That's a good point. Ah, fuck. See, this is a tough one. be kind of good just to stop it right now and just say, tune in next week. Well, I think we already <laughs> got people coming next week because of Snoop Dizzle. That's true. Okay, what is it? This crazy fucking cocksucker <laughs> in the U.S. Republican Wisconsin Governor Scott Walker wants to put a fucking wall up between Canada and the United States of America. <laughs> that is fucked. A wall. A fucking a wall. wall. Yeah. Why? Where? Along the whole border? Yeah, it's like fucking 9,000 kilometers long. I don't know how many miles that is, but it's a fuck of a lot. They're saying it would probably cost $30 billion. $30 billion. <laughs> And what's he going to accomplish? How does he think he's going to keep us out of there? Like, go ahead. <laughs> Why is he trying to keep us out of there, though? I, I, that's what I don't understand. I don't understand. Or is he trying to keep people from the United States come into Canada. I don't know, because they come up here and think, fuck, this place is great and don't want to go back. Or It's a weird fucking idea. I think but does he say put up insane. a wall and then that's it? There's no borders, there's nobody in or out? I guess or is so he saying, let's put up a wall, but we'll still just let people in and out. It'll just be a nice, pretty wall. We just got nothing better to spend $30 billion on. Fuck, it'll be beautiful. That's fucked. I thought it was a little fucked. I'm glad I think you guys maybe. think it's fucked too. So it's really fucked. What's his all name? Right. Scott Walker. Scott Walker. I think he might be fucked in the head. I think he might be smoking something more powerful than we are. Well, <laughs> and I'm glad we we did say what the story is about now because if this was a cliffhanger for the next episode, it would have been lame. It would have been very fucking lame, Ricky. I've got a bit of a buzz on. I thought it was a lot more fucking. No, man, it's fucking than it was. I still think it's fucked. We should ask Snoop Dogg what he thinks about that. Well, how do you fuck do you build? It. Number one, there's a lot of water. How do you build the wall over the water? Is it a floating wall for that section? Good call, valid questions, really. Maybe just barbed wire, so you cruise along a lake in your boat and all of a sudden your fucking neck gets cut off? That's a good question, right? There's fucking airports in the way, there's people's homes, like, it just, wow. I don't have any answers for you, Rick. All you right, to well, find you out. guys can't help me Let's snoop. I'll go talk okay. to someone that can. All right. Let's, uh, let's just end this. I fucked up the podcast, didn't I? A little bit. A little bit, Recky. Sorry, guys. So depressed. You know what? Next time I'm bringing nothing except the buzz on, and you guys are in charge of all of it. Yeah. Okay. You got it. Snoopy the dog. We'll just see if that really happens. I fucking highly doubt it. All right. Yeah. Sign off, pups. What? Sign off. We're done. Why am I signing off? All right. Thanks. We're done. Just wait. I'm the host. I'll sign off. <laughs> See you there.
Bravo. That's called fucking with you. I know. It's just do I was it. there. I signed off, and you guys didn't even know it. So did I. See you later. I'm, I'm done. That's the end of podcast number five. I'm going to the hospital to get some x-rays. She oh, really need x-rays, right? I'm pretty fucking sore, yeah. Thank you.